tenth thing would be restoration. There are many things that have been taken away from circumstances that I've been put in that made me very uncomfortable. When you have braces, right? I spoke earlier about how I didn't smile a whole lot. It was just kind of painful to just adjust my mouth. And so when you are in alignment, it's going to be uncomfortable. You're going to experience pain. You're going to experience some level of uncomfort when you are re in realignment. In the latter part of 2017, I just noticed um, a lot of restoration, a lot of things that were being revealed to me that will be restored. And so I'm so grateful for that. And once those things come to pass, I will definitely remind myself and you guys what they are. I'm glad that I learned the lessons from that and was able to um, see the beauty in, in that process, that pruning season and the growth that I experienced coming out on the other side. For 2018, I decree I will be in, in the midst of company that I am not qualified for. I will have exceeding and abundant blessings, um, finances. I'll be blessed so much that I'll be able to bless others um, financially and the other way. I want to remain a full cup so that I can pour into other people. I definitely believe that 2018 is the year of impossible. I just feel something coming. For example, this analogy for the roller coaster. You know when you're going up, when you're ascending up, right? You like an anticipation. You have the butterflies in your stomach. Your heart probably is palpitating. That's what I'm experiencing. Since the year of alignment has happened for me in 2017, I'm on the right path now. What I'm supposed to be doing with my life. We all search for what our purpose is. Like when you get a certain age, you start to think, okay, it's more than just going to work, paying bills, driving a nice car, looking cute, you know, going to the turn ups, to the kickbacks, to whatever, the fees, whatever y'all want to call them. It's way more to life than that. What am I here for? Because every day when you wake up, you have another chance. That means your assignment is not over. So you spend time trying to figure out what that assignment is and you ask God. I encourage you guys, if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing, if you don't know what your life's work is, just spend time with God and just talk to him just like I'm talking to you. And he will reveal to you in different ways. And that gut and intuition thing, that's really the voice of God. That's really the Holy Spirit leading us and guiding us and protecting us and going before us and showing us where to go, what to do, what to say, and when to obey. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow my blog, ChriselleMonet.com. Listen, there is a bunch of new things coming up and I'm excited to share with you, but you have to sign up for my email list because those are part of the, the email community will definitely get first dibs on that. So head over to ChriselleMonet.com. Check out my blog post if you have not. I pray that you guys have a great start to your new year. The peace of God be all over your life. And I just want to encourage you guys to never give up. It is never too late to get things right with your life. It's your situation, your current state of mind. It, it's never too late. No matter what the enemy is telling you, it's never too late. Okay? So, beautiful people, I love you guys. Until we meet again, go in peace. And I want you to have a great, great, great year.